What's happening guys, it's me Darren Keith again, back for the third day in a row, sitting outside at our training ground, just trying to bring this to you uh, in the easiest way possible. So I'm going to be trying to bring this to you every, each and every single day, if not every other day. Um, but other than that, great day of football yesterday again in the AFCON, uh, some big games. So let's jump, jump straight into it. Obviously the big one, Algeria versus Sierra Leone, which was meant to be kind of a walkover what was meant to be a walkover for algeria ended up being a nil nil draw um quite a game that was in terms of uh, how sierra leone approached the game they were obviously not going to be on the attack too much with uh, algeria's firepower that they do have i mean you you got to start a, a, a star-studded team with uh, players like um, um mares and uh, yeah Always a, a team to watch out for and uh, couldn't manage to get the win in the end. And then you have Nigeria taking on Egypt. For me, Egypt was going to be the favourites. But in the end, Nigeria claiming that one with a simple 1-0 win with a fantastic goal by uh, Kelechi, which <laughs> not many keepers in the world would have saved. And then you have Sudan taking on Guinea-Bissau, which uh, for me was the most exciting game of the day, if not the most exciting game at AFCON uh, yet with... Uh, so much action in the game, uh, penalties, a penalty save, uh, but just unbelievable stuff going on. But going back to the Algeria Sierra Leone game, um, just excuse me, but he's a bit windy. I am sitting outside, so trying to make the best of it here. Um, this Sierra Leone game, their keeper picking up the, the Man of the Match award from Sierra Leone, uh, Muhammad Kamara, who had a fantastic game. Um, Obviously, I, he's still young, 22, so first time at AFCON, uh, first time going for Sierra Leone in ages, so uh, big shout out to him, big game for him to, to do this, and uh, he was so brought on by emotion that, you know, it looks like he was thanking his coaches or someone, but definitely emotional, he had, he shed a, a bit of a tear there during his uh, post-match interview to collect his Man of the Match award, but it's so great to see uh, players like this and uh, doing well for their countries and for me that's what AFCON's all about. An interesting stat again from uh, my good friend Joe Cran, uh, Kamara made more saves, seven, than any other goalkeeper at AFCON so far. He also had the most touches, 48 of any Sierra Leone player today. So yes, as it says there, man of the match without a doubt. And uh, rightly so, I mean if you if you're able to, to do that type of work for your team, uh, keep your team in the game, get a normal draw against Algeria, then uh, you know in the end you should be you should be in consideration for a man of the match. Um, going into the Nigeria game against Egypt, uh, another interesting fact is that uh, Ola Ahina, sorry, I think that's his name, Ola Ahina, attempted six tackles and won all six of them. He wasn't dribbled past once and also made four clearance and two interceptions. Now, if you're going to have a, a defensive player, um, that's kind of what you expect from them. That's what you want from them. And, uh, you know, definitely part of the reason why Nigeria were possibly the better team on the day and why they were able to hold uh, Mo Salah and his uh, teammates at bay was uh, because of a performance like that. And, uh, you know, those are the things that wins your games is the ability to keep clean sheets, the ability to to make tackles when necessary. And, you know, talking about that, when you move on to the next game that followed, um, Sudan's keeper, you know, another man of the match for, for Ali, I'm going to try and pronounce his name here, but Ali Abu Shren. So he put on a sterling performance. Um, just a side note on his performance, they did get a penalty awarded against them. Uh, which I don't think was a penalty. I think he made a good save. Uh, he came out for, for kind of a challenge and the ball popped up and it actually hit the hand of the attacking player. And then they were awarded a penalty. Um, so not the best way, especially when you, you know, when you, you're going into the game and, and you're looking for a positive result and then you end up uh, conceding a penalty when it's still nil nil late in the game. I think it was around 80, 81 minutes. And uh, he managed to save the penalty, so he redeemed himself uh, superbly, which in the end uh, 
helps his team maintain the clean sheet and also uh, get them their first point uh, at, at AFCON for this uh, for this AFCON finals. So obviously, you know, it was a, a, a good performance overall. It was actually a very interesting game, which was back and forth. Um, and uh, yes, he is the one who kept them into the game. And by no surprise, he was uh, awarded the man of the match. And, you know, as you can see there, all the Sudanese players definitely appreciate it. So at the end of the match, day three, we're sitting on, on Group D, which which is finally the most... Uh, the most uh, different looking uh, lock that we have because usually all the teams want three points and three points and then the bottom two teams on zero zero whereas here we have nigeria on three sudan on one guinea bissau on one and egypt on zero points so egypt sitting bottom of the log which is not always uh, something you see too often but uh, this is afcon at the end of the day and you are going to see things here that you don't usually see going straight into today's games we have a big clash, a titanic clash, Tunisia versus Mali, which is going to be massive. Obviously, Mali coming with their full strength team. Uh, they're going to have all their players available as well as I'm assuming Tunisia is too. So I think that is uh, three o'clock South African time, which is one o'clock uh, Cameroonian time. Uh, that will be a massive game. And then you have Mauritania and Gambia, which uh, some might consider... Not such a big fixture, but uh, as I said before, every game at AFCON is going to be a game to watch. So keep an eye out for all these games. And obviously you have the Equatorial Guinea taking on the African Giants, uh, Ivory Coast, or as it says there, Côte d'Ivoire, which will be another massive game. So just keep an eye out for all these games. It's going to be awesome. I think this AFCON is going to continue to to get better and better as we go along. And... Uh, Yes, there will be some su surprise results definitely coming our way. So all in all, very short one. Thanks so much again if you've watched this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any, any things you want to ask or any ideas, please let us know. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please like, please comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.